in addition to the data types that a lot of languages give you, C++ also gives you the character data type. It's done by declaring char, which is short for character, and then your variable name, just like any other variable. There are a couple interesting things about the char data type, however. First is C++ actually stores it internally as a number. And this number corresponds to the ASCII character set. Any character that you normally see on an English style keyboard is found. And there's a lot of non-printable characters that are there as well. In old programs, a lot of times we use these for certain things. However, they're less likely to be used nowadays in more modern applications. However, that doesn't mean that the char is not something that we won't use. And I want to look at a couple of interesting things that you can do with it. Now, most things are going to be pretty standard. We can have a response. We can use CN in order to get a user input. Or we can declare the value as part of our definition or define it later if we need to. When we use a char, we need to make sure we use a single quote not the double quotes. If we use double quotes, it is a string data type. If we use a single quote, it is a character data type. And this is one way that C and C++ is very different from a lot of other programming languages where he uses single quotes or the double quotes. Because of the way the data is stored, you can easily use it inside of a condition statement. So we can say something like, if response is greater than or equal to A, and response less than or equal to Z. So we can use it in conditions and we can test against other characters that we see. In this case, we're testing it against the characters such as, in this case, we're checking our conditions against other printable characters, seeing if we have a lowercase value. However, this becomes a little bit wordy and we want to look at other possibilities. C++ gives us a bunch of character functions we can use if we use the right library. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to include a new library. CC type. CC type has several functions that we can use in order to CC type has several functions that we can use to do everything from take a character and make it uppercase or lowercase, check to see if it's a letter, digit, etc. Let's see how we rewrite this if statement using some of his functions. So we're going to start off with if, say is alpha. And this is going to check to see if we are a letter. Then we can specify is lower. And we have our exact same characterization. We could also make it a little bit easier if we didn't care about the case simply by asking is alpha. We also have other function here. For example, is digit is going to let us check to see if we are a number between zero and nine. Now it's not the actual number zero to nine. It's going to be the character that's represented between zero and nine. Let's go where we're going to take an if statement and see if it matches a character. However, I don't want to check for both upper and lower case, so I'll say to lower. Now we use to lower, so whatever our response is, it converts into a lowercase letter, and then we have and then we have an equality to see if it equals y. So this is a real simple way that we can use some of these built-in functions. It makes it easier to read, it makes it easier to write and easier to maintain. Now we've shown you characters such as the alphabet and digits, but what about a non-printable character? Well, some of these we can actually put into our character. So let's take a look at some of these non-printable characters. So I have a non-printable, and that's just a special variable I'm going to use to kind of store these real quick. Now, a lot of non principal characters are going to be what we call escaped. And that's what we're going to look at is our escaped characters. Our escaped characters have a backslash in them. 
So for example, I'll use a backslash T and this is going to be our tab. This way we can easily move over a set number of spaces. Likewise, we have a non-printable. That's going to be our new line character. This moves us down a line. And it's the same thing as using end L inside of our Cout statement. We have others, and what you might think about, for example, is how do we print a backslash? We can't print a backslash because it thinks that it's going to be an escape character. And it's going to escape the next character if there is one. Luckily, we can put another backslash, and that means we have the ability to now print and store our backslash. There are several other escape characters that you might find, such as a carriage return, backslash R, a form feed, backslash F, etc. But these are ones you'll most typically see. 